In the last video, I tested the whole drilling ability of the setup. The next step was to test out its milling capabilities. After dialing in the cutting data a little bit, I started a simple cleanup pass on the stock piece. This worked pretty well until I hit an embedded piece of carbide and it chipped the cutter. I did put in a new cutter and then proceeded. Since this has all worked pretty well so far, let us try to cut out a small model from this piece of stock. And here it is basically done with the cleanup pass. The next layer it will start cutting out the model. Here you can see the setup. This is basically an unaltered 3D printer. The uh, extrusion nozzle is on the upper left in a park position. I added a bench power supply on the right to be able to drive the spindle and I removed the heat bed. But other than that it is basically an unaltered system. The spindle has an air inlet to allow flooding it with protective air. I feed it with an aquarium air pump, which is much quieter than the spindle running noise. I added a HEPA sanitary air filter. These filters claim to filter to below 1 micron, but I have no way to actually test that claim. However, anything that I can do in order to avoid dust from the air to be blown into the spindle bearings is probably worth the effort. And now we are some ways into the machining already. If we zoom in a little bit, we can see the tail fin of the airplane sticking out on the left already, and a little bit of the cockpit on the right. Here a still image from a different angle of where we are at at this moment. And here we are even further along in the process. And here another still image from a different angle of the current state of affairs.
And this is a shot of some detail work being done on the tail fin. Uh, in this finishing pass, it takes a, a relatively rough cut for a relatively large Z height. And then it goes back and splits that Z height into a number of smaller cuts where much less material is being removed. And here's some footage of the final pass. This is the final result, with both the cutter used and a coin as reference. The width of the tail fin is about 400 microns. I think one can be very happy with the result of this test.